This is an introduction lesson into one point perspective sketching. We're going to have a go at trying to do one point perspective sketching of cubes in this first lesson. One point perspective is a form of graphics where as things get further away from you, they get smaller, what actually happens in real life. So we're going to have a little look at this worksheet. And this worksheet here is what I'm going to use to try and draw four one point perspective shapes. On the worksheet I have got four simple shapes. I've got a square, a square and two rectangles. Now you can download this worksheet if you wish or you can just use a blank piece of paper, a line piece of paper, draw right in the centre a little cross with VP for the vanishing point and then four shapes. Doesn't matter if the sizes aren't exactly as I've got there but as long as you can follow the principles. So starting point here is I'm going to draw, starting with this one in the top corner, I'm going to take a line from each of the corners of the cube to the vanishing point. And I'm going to keep these reasonably light to begin with, because not all of the line is going to be part of the finished drawing. So my starting point is I've drawn those three lines. To turn it into a cube, because at the moment it looks like it's a big long shape getting smaller and smaller as it goes to the vanishing point, I'm going to take my ruler and that vertical line there, I'm going to slide it down, decide upon a depth, and draw another vertical line between the two lines. And then to finish off the cube, I'm going to draw a horizontal line, slide it down to the bottom of the line that I've just drawn, and draw a line going straight across. So what I now have is my cube, and if I just darken in the sides of it, the parts of the lines, There is my first worksheet, or my first um, one point perspective cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in each of the other ones. Because this one is in the top left corner, you see the front, you see the right, and you see the bottom. This one down here, because it's down in the bottom left, I'm going to see the front of it, I'm going to see the top, and I'm going to see the right. But the same principles apply. Take each of the corners back to the vanishing point. Decide upon a depth, so take my ruler, slide it up, and I'll draw a horizontal line. Take my ruler, vertical line, from the end of the line I just drew, straight down, and then darken in the sides. Okay, moving on to the one down here in the bottom right. Same principles. Corners that are closest to the vanishing point, take them back to the vanishing point. Decide upon the depth. This one I'm going to do quite small, so draw a vertical line. Horizontal line. And you have your cube. And then all I have to do is darken in the sides. So by the time you go into the third and fourth one, you should be getting quite comfortable with what it is you're trying to do, and you should be getting quite quick at this. So in each case, I have drawn all the, the, the shapes going back to this. So that's the, this a worksheet more or less complete. What I'd maybe say is, if you've got some coloured pencil at home, you could maybe take some coloured pencil and start to add, add some colour maybe to the cubes so that they stand out a little bit better. Okay, so you can start to add a little bit of colour like that. I'm doing this very rushed so that Not as tidy as I'd maybe want it, but you could do that and you could do that to each of the cubes. And then what I'd like you to try and do is think about adding in some more cubes. So here is a worksheet which I prepared earlier where what I've got is the four basic shapes which I did originally. One, two, three and four. But then what I've done is I've drawn in some additional squares or rectangles myself and turned them into one point perspective. And what I'd like to see you try and do is fit as many cubes as possible into your worksheet. 
Once you have got that worksheet done, what I'd like you to do is send it back to your classroom teacher or whoever is actually sending you the worksheet. We're working in teams at the moment, so um, the teacher will have set an assignment in teams and what I'd like you to try and do is take a picture of your finished work and then send it back to your teacher in the assignment. Or if your teacher is using Show My Homework, could you take a picture of your finished work, making sure that your name is on it, and then could you send that back also to your teacher. Okay, good luck and enjoy.